Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to present to you this short program written in BASIC on the Commodore 64. It's a two-liner a program that consists of just two lines. Two-liners were extremely popular during the 80s. Lazy people like me could write short programs found in dedicated magazines with minimal effort and low risk of typing errors. I found this particular two-liner on page 9 of this French magazine called Hebdogiciel. You can download the magazine on the website uh, archive. Uh, I'm going to show you where it is. It's on page 9, 7. Well, and there are funny images. Uh, this is here. The major instruction in this program is print, followed by the instructions peek and poke, as you can see. Let's run it and see uh, what it does. Okay, nothing happens at first, but if I press a key, okay, you can hear that it produces a sound every time I press a new key. Well, that's nice. I wouldn't have expected that. This basic program uses the print instruction to uh, print uh, characters on the screen, but actually to store a data in the screen memory of the Commodore uh, 64. And then uh, it fetches the data uh, in the screen memory to store it at the address 49201. Uh, in decimal, which is a three o c o thirty one in hexadecimal, and uh, many demos uh, use this technique, placing code in the screen memory and the column memory to gain uh, an additional two k of memory. And then the program modifies the address uh, at uh, seven hundred and eighty nine. Uh, which is uh, 315 in hexadecimal with this instruction poke, poke uh, seven, uh, 789, uh, comma 192. Seven hundred eighty-nine. Uh, is the address of the kernel's vector pointing to the high packed ad address of the IRQ handling routine, which is uh, in hexadecimal uh, EA31. It puts uh, the value 192 in decimal, which is uh, C0 uh, in hexadecimal. This means that the address of the IRQ a handling routine uh, becomes C O C zero thirty one, which is uh, forty nine uh, two hundred and one in decimal, uh, which you can see uh, here. Okay, if we use a monitor to examine what's inside the memory of the Commodore sixty four at this address. Uh, C031, uh, we, uh, we can see, we see that uh, it compares the value at the address C5 with the value of 40, which is the default value placed by the kernel uh, when no key is pressed on the Commodore 64. Uh, keyboard. Uh, it stores then, uh, well, if no key is pressed, it goes to the address 
C039, uh, which is here, it stores the value 40. Uh, but uh, as the zero flag has been set, it goes to this address C04D, which is here, and it goes to the routine handling. Uh, the um, the RRQ on the Commodore 64, but if uh, well, it's if a key is pressed, uh, either it's a, a repeat, either it's a, a new key pressed, either it's a repeated key, uh, and it compares the value which has been stored at this address 0 02. If it's repeated, then the, the zero flag is uh, set. And it goes to this address. If it's if the zero flag is not set, well, it continues, and we can see that the code um, is actually um, changes the values in the SID registers uh, with uh, these uh, short machine language uh, instructions, and producing the the sound effect you you heard. It's um, as uh, simple as this. Well, the video is now over. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, to all take care.